Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review. Tonight, we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series First Order Stormtrooper Executioner. This is a Target exclusive, and I happened to see this in store yesterday, which really surprised me because this was one that I was actually looking for for a while and never found it in any of my Targets. But I happened to pop in a Target the other day, the one and only one sitting on the peg. So very cool. The packaging is what we've seen with the, all the other Black Series, the black on red. Do have the image of the character here, Star Wars Black Series. Uh, the bottom, you got that. The top, you got that. The one side, you just have the plain red because it is um, an in-store exclusive. On this side, you got that. On the back, of course, you have the image along with the read-up. But yeah, very, very cool. So let's pop this open and take a closer look. Okay, and here he is all out of the packaging. And this is a pretty cool figure. I do like it. I'm sure it's just a, uh, you know, recast of a traditional Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. I don't have one of those to compare with. But um, it's nice. I mean, it does have its limitations, which I don't like. But there are things that I do like. Um, taking a closer look, I think the sculpting is great. You know, it's what we see with the other kind of Stormtroopers in the Black Series. Nice sculpt. Nice paint on the lenses. You got kind of get a, a glossy black, and then you get a flat black for the uh, tr you know trademark stripe going on the helmet. And of course, we have the black shoulder pads with the decal. So that turned out really cool. Get a little bit of silver paint here on the helmet along with the speaker. So really, really good job with that. Nice uh, clean paint on the, the you know decal on the shoulder pads. Of course, the rest of the armor is done nice. Nice sculpt. A little bit of paint here. Do have his molded belt it has a little bit of paint on it we have this other belt which is connected to him but kind of like soft has some um sculpted pockets on there which are the thing on the back but yeah it looks really really cool it's kind of funny because they have the port for the blaster but he doesn't come with the blaster and i'm guessing it's just because they used you know the same mold just repainted but i mean overall it's a cool looking stormtrooper you know I like the First Order Stormtrooper look. Not as much as I like the traditional Stormtrooper, but it does have a cool look to it. I do like how, you know, it is a little bit different too. So that's always cool to have some different Stormtroopers up on your shelf. Uh, what I really like is that they include, of course, his Executioner weapon, which is really, really done nice. It is a little bit warped on the handle, which I don't like, but we get a little bit of black paint here. Get a little bit of silver paint in the middle. And they actually added the effects. So that's really cool. So like it's like turned on with the blades, which I really like because even the SH Figure Arts version, which I'm really looking forward to getting because it's got really nice movement, but it doesn't come with that, with that feature, which is kind of strange. But the cool thing about this, and it is a little bit tough, but these actually come off of here. And I thought that was a really, really smart move by Hasbro giving us that, you know, um, option of taking the blade off. And then it even has the hinges. So that's really cool to kind of have it like powered down or powered up. Same thing with this side. You get the hinge and you can take that off. So that's really cool. Now, one thing that is a little bit of a bummer is that he doesn't really hold it that well. He does come with the one trigger finger hand. And he just comes with a, you know, traditional... Um, kind of like a hold hand, but it doesn't really fit in here very well. It's very loose So you kind of have to use that trigger finger hand to give it a nice tight grip around it And then he doesn't have double jointed elbows or a bicep swivel. So I thought that was kind of strange as well But I'm um, going over the articulation. It's not too bad um, I am surprised I thought it would be better Especially in the helmet, like the head, because usually we get nice range with this. But, um, I mean, that's about as much up as you're going to get. About as much down. Swivel. You don't get any tilt, so that's kind of disappointing. Shoulders are much better. These are a hard, you know, piece, but they're connected to the arm, and they will tuck up under. So you're going to get, you know, 90 degrees out of it that way. Full swivel. You would think there's a bicep swivel. But there is not, unless mine is just ridiculously stuck, and I don't think there is. Uh, we just get a single bend at the elbow, so that's a little disappointing. Yep, it's not turned around, so that's the right way. It just, that's, that's it. So that's definitely kind of disappointing. Of course, you do get swivel there. 
course you get swivel at the hands and hinges and you get a hinge on this side you know it's left and right so it's not up and down on either of them we do get the cut here so we get nice movement in the torso you get you know swivel you get nice side to side you get a little bit of back get a nice little bit of forward there is no you know uh, swivel at the waist you do have about that much going that way with the legs kicking out kicking back you do have a thigh swivel in there you do have double jointed knees and of course you have the hinge that brings the foot really nice back really nice forward and of course you have the rocker on it so i mean it's not too bad i thought it would be a little bit better in the articulation department but i mean for what it is it's not too bad i mean it still looks cool so uh, he measures out to be about five and three quarter inches tall and as far as some comparisons here is the kind of traditional star wars black series stormtrooper so you can see they pretty much stand about the same height here's a praetorian guard and here is a snow trooper so that's a little bit of comparison as far as some other black series troopers what he will look like on the shelf he will look really cool I do like that we, you know, get this accessory included with the really bright idea of giving us the hinges to give us the powered, um, powered on and powered off look. So that's really, really cool. I'm glad that they gave us these accessories as well. A little bit disappointed in the articulation, but I mean, at the end of the day, it is another Stormtrooper. It's a little bit different. It's going to look good up on your Star Wars shelf. But yeah, guys, that is the Black Series Star Wars Stormtrooper Executioner. That is the Target exclusive. But that's the review. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.